Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. I was uh, tidying up in my basement and I came up with an idea for a, a quick video. Uh, if you're looking to just get a simple old school style trainer like this one here uh, for the winter to ride indoors, that can totally work for you. You can get a speed and cadence sensor on your bike and synchronize that to Zwift and ride in Zwift or a similar online training platform. You just won't get the feedback through this kind of trainer uh, like you would a smart trainer when you're supposedly going up a hill in the virtual world. But you do have the ability to adjust um, this kind of manual tension switch here. Um, and you, one thing that I want to pass on uh, as advice is uh, your, you leave your back wheel on and it, it's constantly pushing against this roller here. And if you just use a regular tire like this, what will eventually happen is you start to wear down your tire and then it starts to pass more heat to the inner tube if you're using clincher tires and then you'll start to get a flat all the time. So rather than have that happen, um, when you buy a trainer like this, you wanna buy a special tire meant for a trainer. So that's what this blue tire is here. This one's made by Tac X and it's a much thicker material and it stands up to that extra rubbing and heat from this style of trainer. Uh, I would advise you to put this tire on a rim either away from people or when no one's home because it's really hard and you might be swearing like a sailor when you're doing it. <laughs> so, uh, I would advise you to wear some gloves so you've got a better grip and just be patient with it because it does really suck. Maybe have a beer or something, listen to some music <laughs> while you're trying to put this stupid tire on your rim. <laughs> and the other advice I want to give you is don't forget to get something like this. They may look a little different. Um, it's a riser. You put your front tire in this and then uh, it just like brings your bike up to more of a level position. And then if you turn your front tire it's not rubbing against the ground um, it's just this thing moving back and forth so hopefully you found that video to be um, useful if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and share this video with people who may benefit from it thanks